Hey everyone, welcome back. So as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be testing new makeup. I can't wait to try this. This is the new e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand. I got the Kylie Cosmetics Kai Lash Mascara. I've also got this concealer by Revolution. I got these cute lip balm, lip oil from P. Louise. I've also got this highlighter, which is absolutely stunning from Revolution. Like, just look at that. It looks so yummy. Not only that, I do have a palette poll to choose. Every single Friday, I do a palette poll over on my Patreon where my patrons pick my palette for me. These were the runners up. So in the poll, it was against the Revolution Clueless palette, the Cosmic Brushes Muse palette, and then as you can tell from the thumbnail, the Morphe Ultra Lavender, it's upside down. The Morphe Ultra Lavender palette has worn. This is what I'll be playing with today. So yeah, we've got a lot to test out. I hope you enjoy, hit subscribe if you wanna see more. And yeah, without further ado, let's get on to test. Okay, my lips are dry AF, so I'm gonna try out these. These are the P. Louise Lip Oil Lip Treatment. I got these gifted from my friend. Um, she had doubles, so she thought she passed it on to me, so thank you so much. I've never tried the P. Louise uh, lip oils or lip anything, but they're very popular, especially on TikTok. Look at this packaging, it's so nice and it smells unreal. So, yes, it's a lip oil. It reminds me of, like Jeffree Star packaging. I can't describe the scent, it is sweet, but it's a very unique scent. I've never smelt this smell in a lip product before. My lips are so dry. I have been talking all day. It's a really soft doe foot. Already, this lip oil feels nourishing as hell. Like, I feel like I don't need the conditioner, but for the sake of the video, I am going to use some conditioner. We've added moisture surging benefits to help improve lip firmity for the pout of dreams. Prepare for protection, hydration, and a glowing lips, babes, because you deserve it. Oh, it's in a keychain. It's got a keychain as well. I don't think I'll ever use a keychain, but it's a fun aspect I guess so you could attach it to your keys, your handbag, carrot resist you. I've noticed that P. Louise always has a play on words with her products. Okay the other one that I tried before had much of a stronger scent. This is quite a laid back scent, it's not as powerful. Oh my god my lips are gonna thank me for this. I forgot to mention I also have a new eye primer to try. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus eyeshadow primer. I always use either my Revolution Ultimate Eye Base or my Beauty Bay Eye Base. I have found this is very fit. I have used this before, by the way, it's not a total first impression, but I have noticed that this is more of a firm formula in comparison to the Ultimate Eye Base by Revolution and the Beauty Bay. Um, it just feels a bit oily when I first apply it. I don't know. What is in the ingredients? Yeah, I just feel like it's going a bit weird there. Do you know what I mean? I am dry on my lids, so I, I don't know whether it's because of that. But yeah, I don't know how the application is gonna go with this. Okay, so this palette, Morphe 35L Ultra Lavender. This looks stunning. So we've got 35 shades in here. I'm just guessing because it says 35. Does that mean there's 35 shades in here? So we've got shimmers, I can see. We've got like metallic finishes. We've got mattes. Okay, first shade I'm going to start off with is Sparked, which is this shade here. I'm just going to put this in my crease for now. So we've got something like that. That's a really nice colour. I'm going to use the shade Dot Calm just on the brow bone so it's blended into that first shade. Okay, I want to go with something really dark now, so I'm thinking of going into very vivid, this purple here. And I'm just going to put that in the outer corner for now. Okay, now I'm going to try deepen out even further. I'm going to use the switched off shade, this bottom corner colour. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to re-intensify the outer corner a bit more. Okay, I've just done a really undefined soft cut crease. I did use the P. Louise Room 02. I'm looking very closely, especially in this eye. I don't know if it's because I've got really dry eyelids at the minute, but that eyeshadow primer, the, the Wet n Wild, I feel like it's gone really textured just on the eyelids. So, but yeah, that's what I'm noticing so far. I feel like I can get most of these shades from the Beauty Bay. What's it called? Beauty Bay. I feel like these are the sort of shades that I could get in the Beauty Bay Love Note palette. Thinking about it now, did I really need this palette? Um, right, I'm going to go into Amphius Dimension, this one. Ooh. 
it's been really pretty. I do prefer Beauty Bay Love Note shimmers in comparison. These are more, I'd say, powdery shimmers, not your typical Beauty Bay foil shimmers. I guess it just depends what you're after, what your preference is. Personally, I love the Beauty Bay foiled shimmers. Future Core, let's go with this. I'm just gonna lay that towards the inner corner. I do wish they were more reflecting, if you know what I mean. I feel like I wanna go with more of a pastel pink just in the inner corner. So I'm gonna take it on a really defined brush. And I just wanna add some pink in the inner corner. Oh my God. Oh, I like that. That shows up beautifully. I am using a really tight flat brush though. So that's probably why it's showing up really nicely, but I like that. I really want that in the like, inner corner bit. I'm just going to take these off, see what we can work with. Okay, not bad. I am going to go on the lower lash line, just use the same shades, come back. I'll have, I'll put my eyeliner on as well. I'm going to use the Clueless Eyeliner by Revolution. I have just tried five minutes to blend this out. And for some reason, it doesn't want to blend out. What the hell is going on? I'm going to try, use that same eyeshadow primer. Maybe I should use a different eyeshadow primer. Right, I'm going to go into this one. This is the Beauty Bay Eye Base. And I'm just going to tap a bit on my hands. And then I don't know why it's sticking. It could have been the wax that I was using earlier. I was using the chocolate brow wax. And maybe I just didn't... Maybe I didn't wipe it off properly. I don't know if I can rectify this. Do you know what? It could be a multiple factors here. It could be that I'm just having a really bad eyelid day. It could be this chocolate wax not wiping it off. It could be the primer. Okay, it's working fine now. Could it be that blooming eyeshadow primer? Not the best blend, but it's better than before. We don't have that massive, harsh line. I'm gonna use the Cyber Silver. This looks so bright. I don't know where to put this. I might put this on top of the purple, maybe? Yeah. I don't know if I want to go for an inner corner highlight today. I think I want to keep it matte. Even though I do love it, inner corner highlight, but I just want to try new things. I also put it on the brow bone as well. Okay, now I've got this new concealer. It's new to me, but it's been out for a while. This is the Revolution IRL Filter Finish Soft Match Concealer. I've got in the shade C1. I've heard good stuff about this one, so long wear, oil free. Oh, it's in a doe foot. I like that. I never know how much to put on. I'm just gonna dot it. Mm. I like the shape of this. This is really nice. I like that it's bent there, so it's nice to get in the crevices. I don't know how fast this is gonna dry, but I'm just gonna use my Shein sponge. Absolutely adore this. Blending in concealer. Normally I use a hydrating concealer, the e.l.f. A Camo Hydrating Concealer I use. This is nice though, it's not too drying considering it's a soft and matte concealer. Yeah, I think I like this. It feels like weight, it's not that quick drying so you can take your time with it. You don't have to rush and it doesn't pick up that much texture under the eyelids. Like, I can never have a smooth under eye, like that's just not how my skin is but I really like that. Okay, now we've got this. This is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand. I got this from Boots. I've seen this everywhere and I feel like it is dupe in the Charlotte Tilbury, you know if you know, especially with it being a sponge applicator like this. So I got the shade Light. There was it medium as well, but I thought that looked a bit too bronzy to be a contour. It literally looks grey. Look at that. That, I don't know. It looks great on my skin tone. So this is what it looks like, as you can tell, I have used it. I do love my Shein one. Yeah, this is slightly on the bronzer side compared to this e.l.f. one. That's the Shein one and that's the e.l.f. So that's a comparison. So a massive tone comparison. So let's just see what this is like. So I'm just gonna do two dots. So that blends into nothing. I'm gonna do it on my nose as well. And then up here. 
I think this does work better as a contour shade in general for me because I actually don't have any contours that are this grey tone. Okay, I'm gonna go in with another layer because it is very light. It is as though it's creating a shadow. I think it does work, but I don't know if I like it on me. I definitely need some bronzer. Um, it blends, I'll give it that. But I don't know if it suits me. This is what it looks like. I say yes, it blends. I think it's the right shade of contour. If you've got fair skin and you struggle a lot to find an actual contour shade, I think you should try this. But most of the times the contours that I've tried, they've came out either too orange or just too bronzy, but they still name themselves contours. I feel like this is a contour. This tone, try it if you've got fair skin like me, it blends. I just don't know if I don't know if I like it on me. I just need to tr I just need to put the bronzer on. It's, it's because I'm so used to putting this on and the Made by Mitchell and they're a lot more bronzy. I've just sprayed myself with the Watermelon Glow and Fixing Spray by I Heart Revolution. You can get this on Primark. I did that because I want to go in this highlighter now. This is the Revolution Highlighter Reloaded in the shade Lilac Blaze. I think this will go with today's look. Um, oh my God, it's so nice. The grooves in the pan are so fun. It has no glitter on it. It just looks like a straight off highlighter. Um, let's just give it a go. Ooh. That's so pretty. I like this. It's not coming off strongly lilacly pink, I don't think. I like how that performs. I don't know if I like this bronzer underneath me. I did go in with the I Heart Revolution Chocolate Contour Bar. So my friend got me this actually. This is the ColourPop Fresh Kissed Lip Cream in the shade Date Night. I've never tried the ColourPop lip creams before, so this is gonna be a total new formula to me. It does look quite strong on camera, but it's, it's like a peachy shade. I don't know if this is gonna go with this. Let me put a lip liner on first. This is the Doll Beauty Run The World lip liner. I'm feeling very chaotic today and I just don't know why. I feel like with first impressions, I feel dead chaotic. Okay, I'm just gonna do that for now, this lipstick. This doesn't go with this lip look now. A really nice formula. Uh, I definitely need to go with something more cool tone for this. Not with this eye look at all, but it looks like a really nice lip formula. I'm gonna wipe this off. Okay, I am gonna use the same lip liner. I thought this lipstick would have gone in today's look, but I will have to use that in a different video. It did feel really nice though and creamy. I have this donkey lipstick by Shrek, I Heart Revolution. I could go with this. This is okay. I don't know how I'm feeling about today's look, guys. Like, I don't know what's up with me. Okay, I'm just gonna go with this before I go crazy. <laughs> okay, we have got one more left to try, and that is the Kylash Mascara. I have tested this out for my patrons. I just sent them a photo and I must say, I do really like it. It is quite of a dry formula, which I do like in a mascara. So this is the Kylash. I love the packaging. I did hear that some people said this looked like the Maybelline Sky High. Mm, I can see the similarities with the embossed writing, but I wouldn't say it's, you know, copying. It's got no curve to it. It's just a standard straight wand. It's not too big either. And I like that it really grabs onto the lashes. I've noticed with this. Usually with mascara, I only notice a difference with certain mascaras. And when I first tried this out, I did notice with my lashes that it made a difference. My lashes are normally just straight. But these actually do make a difference in my lashes. I'd say it is quite clumpy, this mascara. So if that's not your thing, I'd probably skip this one. I quite like it. My lashes are not amazing. I'll say that, but this I can really get on with. I don't know if I am gonna wear lashes today, actually. I don't think I need to. I'm just gonna appreciate what I've got on. Okay, I really put a dozen of coats on. This mascara, you definitely don't need a lot of coats, but that's what they look like. I really like this mascara. All right, I'm near enough done now. I'm just gonna figure my thoughts together and I can come back and I can tell you my favorite products that I've tried out and my not so favorite products. Okay, I've gathered my thoughts and I've done a little experiment on my hand. 
look at that that is not a gradient can you see that dark line there I actually tested out that eye primer on my hand, applied some shadow onto it, just see if it is actually that eye primer. I think it is. Look, that line, that harsh line there is where the eyeshadow primer stops. And I tried to blend it out and it just won't blend. So it just won't blend past that point. My other eyeshadow primers don't do that. I never have this harsh line where the primer stops. It's weird. So. This is definitely going to be a no-go for me and I think I'm going to chuck this away because I cannot get on board with this. I'll never get on board with this. Yeah, I tried it twice on my hand. It's definitely this primer. I'm going to try it with a different eyeshadow palette in a bit, but I do think it's this though. So this is one of the products that I really not enjoy today and I'm glad I've like found that out because I honestly don't think it is the eyeshadow palette. I've tried Morphe shadows before. I've never known them to do that. I haven't brought a new eyeshadow primer in a long time and this makes me think it is that. Now the bad stuff is out of the way, I'm going to talk about the good stuff. So there is a quite a lot of things in here that I really enjoyed. I'm going to start off with the P. Louise lip conditioning products. I enjoyed these. I thought they were nice lip prep before I went on to my lips, even though I changed my lips. I changed my lips, by the way, again. I did put the Revolution Bratz Chloe lipstick on top of that Shrek one. Okay, other stuff that I really enjoyed. I really like this Thai Lash Mascara. I know I usually put lashes on, but I honestly don't think I needed any lashes today. And that is down to this mascara. I like how gripping it is. I like that it's not too wet. I find that wet mascaras really weigh my lashes down. I didn't find that in this mascara. I thought they were lengthening. I do think it is volumizing. I can look a bit clumpy but it's not the clumpiest mascara that i've tried okay i'm surprised at this one i think i like it it's actually a contour well it is on my skin tone this definitely claims to say what it does it blends it's buildable so this stood out to me in today's video as well this is the revolution irl i thought this laid on the skin very nice on top of the foundation this concealer and it doesn't look too dry considering it's a soft matte and i did powder underneath as well and yeah, I just think it's really nice. It's, it feels lightweight, it doesn't feel cakey. I like the doe foot, I like the shape of the doe foot as well. I think this looks so nice, aesthetically pleasing. It's blinding, it shows up lovely on the skin. It's literally stunning. I think it costs like £3.50 or something as well. Very nice, I'm happy to have this. I did mention about the palette. This palette is nice, it blends, it's workable. The shimmers are not my favourite out of all the eyeshadow palettes that I've ever tried. If I am gonna compare it to Love Notes, only because they've got similar shades, I would say I do prefer the Love Notes Beauty Base Shimmers, but I have more variety in this. I feel like there's more matte variety in this palette, so I probably first at thought that I didn't need this palette. But now thinking about it, looking against the Beauty Bay Love Notes, I just feel like the Morphe has better matte selection, but if I want a shimmer, I'll go with the Beauty Bay. So yeah, I think these palettes work really nicely together. Right, I'm gonna go now because I'm literally... <sighs> so tired <laughs> not happy about this i keep saying but yeah if you did enjoy today's video do give a big thumbs up shout out to my channel out. and of course if you don't want to miss out on more makeup beauty vids hit subscribe button down below and if you want to be involved in my next palette poll i'll leave my patreon down below so you can choose which palette you want to see on my channel but yeah i hope you have a lovely day now time watching this and i shall see you in the next one bye this eye primer is like the hardest eye primer i've ever tried to remove like it's, it's it's non-budge. Got that right, but it won't bloody come off.